mathematics is full of patterns and that's what makes it so fascinating. Here I have a few numbers. Could you find any pattern in these numbers? I'm sure you got it. This is a sequence of odd numbers. That's one level of pattern. But could you find deeper patterns? Take a while. Here's one pattern. Look at this number and then try adding these numbers and then try adding these numbers and then try adding these numbers and then try adding these numbers. Did you find the pattern? The first number is one square. Adding these two, one plus three is four, which is two square. Adding three, one plus three plus five is three square and then four square and then five square. And you can keep going forever and ever. That is really fascinating, isn't it? What if I tell you there are more deeper patterns? Let's see. Here's this number and then we have these two and then these three and then these four and then these five. Take a pause and then try and figure out a pattern. Did you get it? If not, here's another hint for you. So I'm going to add these numbers up. So from this, do you find any pattern? Look at these numbers. Does that ring anything? Yes, these are all cubes. And that's really fascinating. What you have to notice is not just that adding odd numbers is giving us cubes, but adding the right number of odd numbers. So one number giving you one cube, two numbers giving you two cube, three numbers giving you three cube, four numbers giving you four cube, and five numbers giving you five cube. And they are all consecutive. These sequence keeps going. So the next set after 29, so from 30, if I keep adding for six times, then I'm gonna get six cube. And then from there, seven cube, seven, seven numbers, eight cube, eight numbers, and that's gonna keep repeating. That is very interesting. Now the difficult part about finding out a cube in this way is finding the first number of the sequence. If I had to find six cube, I don't want to write the entire pattern again. So here's another pattern for us to figure that out. The most important thing is to find the first number in this sequence. So how can we do that? So it turns out that this number is linked to this number as well. So the base of the cube multiplied by the previous natural number plus one is giving you the first term in the sequence. So for this, if I had to find the first term, it's going to be three times, it's going to be three times three minus one plus one. And for this, it's going to be four times four minus one plus one. You can check that, right? So four times three, four, three, 12 plus one, 13. Five times five minus one plus one. That's going to be five, four, 20 plus one, 21. Similarly for seven, for seven cube, the first term would be seven times seven minus one plus one. And that's going to be seven to six, 40 plus one, 43. I don't have to write the entire sequence for me to do that. So for n cube, you would have the first term would be n times n minus one plus one. And here are some even more interesting patterns, which are going to make things easier for you. If I had to find the difference of these cubes, I would have to first figure out this cube and then they figure out this cube and then subtract, which is 27 minus eight, which is 19. But there is another pattern which is linked to these numbers. So that is one plus Multiplying the two numbers and multiplying by three seems to give you the same answer. And that's going to hold true for any such set of cubes. The only important thing being there has to be a difference of one. If it is three cube, if it is three cube minus one cube, it's not going to work. It won't work. It has to be three cube minus two cube. So for any such set of numbers, five cube minus four cube, 110 cube minus 109 cube, it's going to work. So the pattern is, the difference of three cube minus two cube would be equal to one plus three times two times three. One plus multiplying the two numbers multiplied by three. So generally it's gonna be n cube minus n minus one cube would be equal to one plus n times n minus one times three. Let's take a couple of questions. So four cube minus three cube would be what? One plus four times three times three. That's four, three, 12, three, 36 plus 137. This is much easier to calculate than trying to figure out the cubes. What about this? This is just going to be 1 plus 5 times 4 times 3. So 5 plus 23 60 plus 1 61. And that's it. So here's a bonus question. Using our consecutive odd numbers pattern, what's special about expressing 17, 29 as a sum of consecutive odd numbers? Can you find two different ways to do it? Give it a shot.